You know, veterans can often be found giving back to fellow veterans or organizations who give vets a hand up. Now there's a new local option for the latter. So we'll mill to five, 600 pounds, depending on the recipe. Uh, Air Force veteran Mike Brown is all about the beer these days after opening up Rebel Metal Brewery at 412 Central Avenue in downtown Cincinnati. In November of 2015 is when we started the project. And they opened their doors September 12th of 2020, right in the middle of the pandemic. We're three months into construction when COVID hit. His story of transition from the service is different than some combat veterans who face challenges tied to post-traumatic stress and other service-related issues. So I was very fortunate in that in that. Um, but I do have friends, colleagues, uh, family members that when they did transition out, it was much more abrupt. Uh, it was painful. And since he's been out, he tells me he has helped veterans when he sees a need and plans on using his new brewery as a way to continue that mission. It's important that we, we listen and we pay attention and we hear these individuals out and what they're going through and making sure that hey, if they need help, that there's help available and that they know that. Aubrey Gonzalez represents USA Cares, a nonprofit based in Louisville, Kentucky. Once known as Kentucky Anna Cares, their mission to help post 9-11 veterans has grown. What are those main requests that you get from them to say, I need help right now? The most common one that we receive is for housing, rental assistance, uh, eviction prevention, foreclosure prevention, people who are just trying to make their bills, make their payments so they don't go out on the street, so their families don't get separated. She says some 250 calls a week come in, and in their most recent report, USA Cares said they've granted more than $8.4 million in assistance nationwide from 2011 to 2020, grants that helped keep 4,137 veterans in their homes and provided help with automotive needs, food, household bills, as well as medical expenses, money that predominantly comes from donors in the Midwest. An amazing thing to see how much money goes out nationwide and even overseas to assist these men, women, and children, and the bulk of it comes from our little pocket right here of Kentucky, and Kentucky, Indiana, and Southern Ohio. And now USA Cares is expanding into Southwest Ohio with its own new chapter. Mike Brown says as a small company who can't donate large dollars just yet, having a local chapter of USA Cares will mean stretching what donations he and his team can donate. Us having the ability to partner up with USA Cares allows us to have more of a, like, breadth, so to speak, and a more uh, a larger audience base so that we can help in just our small way of, of giving back to the community. USA Cares Southwest Ohio Chapter is launching with a USA Cares Charity Golf Open. It will take place May 10th at TPC Rivers Bend Golf Course. Uh, space is still available. If you'd like to participate, put a foursome together. I'll put the information in this story on WCPO.com and the Homefront Facebook group.